Hello everybody, this is Cesar. And first of all, I would like to thank you for your support, because today we are more than 1,000. In fact, this is 1,060, I think, this morning. And this is only because of your support. So I would like to thank the new subscribers and also, and mostly, the people who have been with me since the beginning, since when I started uploading videos one and a half years ago, a little bit less than one year and a half, yes. Uh, I enjoy reading your comments, I enjoy reading your uh, observations, sometimes your criticism when it's with good intentions and in a positive manner. Uh, I take all the comments on board, I answer all of them, so I'm really having the time of my life. Thank you very much for your continued support. And to the ones who have been with me from the beginning, you know who you are, a big, big, big thanks. Now, usually the channels, when they start uh, and they achieve a milestone, I don't know, 1,000 subscribers or half a million subscribers, like Rob Chapman or whoever, right? Basically, they do a contest or uh, they give away things. I don't do that. And please, let me explain to you why. So you can excuse me. I, I live in Beijing. This is my apartment in Beijing, China. And shipping things out of the country is complicated first when you're a foreigner, but also is uh, very expensive. Though that's gonna change because I'm gonna move, I'm moving in the next months. Uh, and I guess that from uh, the new location, things are going to be much easier from the logistical point of view. Don't read me wrong. Uh, I have had three fantastic years here in, in China, but I think that from the logistic point of view, it's gonna be much easier uh, my new my new location, the, the country where I'm moving to. Well, I will keep you updated. And now I'm going to take the opportunity to answer in this video a question that I have received from several of my YouTube friends. And it's about the guitar calluses, how to take care of the guitar calluses, right? Uh, I'm going to tell you what I do, as always. Right? This does not mean that is the right thing to do. But what I'm going to tell you mostly is what not to do. Because there are people all over the place with this, using products that can really be very toxic for your fingers. You don't want that in your fingers. Believe me, I know very well what I'm saying. Uh, I was forgetting. Um, I'm going to take a couple of weeks leave because there are a couple of situations that require my attention in my home country. So I will fly uh, tonight and I will come back probably in a couple of weeks. So there will not be video this weekend and probably the next one. Though I think I arrived on Friday, but anyway, uh, so that's the reason why I will not be uploading video uh, this weekend. Uh, again, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much to the new subscribers. Thank you very much to the people who have been with me from the beginning. And see you very soon in my next video. And up to that moment, as always, play your guitars, have fun, and be good. So if you're going to play, you're going to develop calluses. And if you want to be serious about playing, you need to have calluses in your fingers. So the first question I have received is, Cesar, how to develop the calluses in our fingers? Play. Practice. Uh, try to bend the strings. Uh, try to do solos or practice solos or practice exercises with a lot of bending. And then you will basically uh, develop the calluses. Uh, I always say that the Hotel California solo is great to develop calluses. And... Uh, uh, well, even the spider exercises are really good too, right? Well, so, now, when to stop? When, not when it hurts, eh? because sometimes it will hurt, but you need to go the extra mile. Eh? But if it bleeds, you need to stop. You may blister, but you don't need to bleed. And believe me, I have seen people bleeding. That's not okay. That's not correct. Eh? That's not correct. I know some of you are going to go mad at me at the comment section, but this is a stupidity. No, no, no. I mean, I have seen people bleeding, and this is not okay. Eh? So you may blister, but you should not take it to the point of bleeding, right? Then, once you your calluses appear, they have to stay. Because if you stop playing, they will disappear. If you stop practicing, they will disappear. Because there are no other things than... Uh, layers of dead skin, you know, uh, piling up in your fingertips, right? It's a constant aggression to the fingertip with the string, eh? and this is why the calluses develop, right? Now, once you have them, you need to take care of them. First of all, you need to keep them there, so 
play. And the second is that this dead skin sometimes piles up, piles up, and sometimes is even annoying because the string gets hooked on it. So the second question I have received is, how do you take care of your calluses? Well, it's a very simple way, right? I level them from time to time. For example, I don't know, sorry for the finger, but I don't know if you can see that this one uh, has there a lot of dead skin, right? So what I do is with an emery board, I simply level them in order to make it softer so it does not interfere with my playing, right? But better than the emery board, I have this, I think the name in English is pumis, pumis, pumis stone, yes. In Spanish is piedra pomez, pumis stone. And that is used to uh, basically level, to, to take care of the calluses uh, at the feet. It works beautifully for the for the fingertips. Works much better, much better than the emery board. So my first option is the pumis stone, right? It's like a volcanic stone, right? And the second option is the, the traditional and simple right, emery boards that you can find in any in any store. Right? Now, what not to do ever, never, and you will read about it in YouTube. There are people recommending this in the blogs, etc. Super glue. Never super glue your fingertips. Never super glue. I mean, uh, cyanoacrylate. Hmm? Cyanoacrylate is very toxic and it's not only toxic by inhalation but it's also toxic by the contact with the skin and of course with the eyes you cannot imagine how much but the contact with the skin this is toxic this is absorbed things that usually uh, in our repairs we use very small quantities but you never put this in your fingertips please never put uh, super glue in your fingertips and another advice would be never use any of those products that are sold in any website, whatever it is, I don't care, to soften eh, your calluses or whatever that are sold like the miracle thing. Never, never put anything that you don't know what it is in your finger. And of course, never cyanoacrylate. Never, never. So that's it. Eh? That's about the calluses in your in your uh, fingertips. You know, pumice stone or an emery board. And don't hurt yourself, eh? don't make your fingers bleed.